My marriage to the rich, handsome CEO, Ronald Scott, has been, for the lack of a better term, a sham. Because I discovered a dark secret which I was not supposed to know. This face in the mirror, it belongs to Mrs. Ronald Scott, the woman whose husband paraded countless bimbos around town. The woman who became the laughing stock of the city for taking her husband back every time he cheated on her. Today, this is about to change. I'm a woman on a mission. Goodbye, Mrs. Scott. Hello, Kate Cotter. Hello, Mrs. Scott. Where is Mr. Scott? I have an appointment with my husband. I'm sorry, Mrs. Scott. He's in the middle of something. Ed asked me to come down and- Breaking news. Ronald Scott and Emily Taylor spotted at the Bellacchio. Is he again cheating on his wife? They look so cute together. Netizens are going crazy. Next up on the show. Damn right, he's in the middle of something. Can I get you a coffee or some water, Mrs. Scott? The truth was that Mr. Scott never did intend to show up. It had always been this way. Mrs. Scott? Please, Sam, it's fine. Just take a seat. This is just like him. Is there anything else I can help you with, Mrs. Scott? Mr. Scott has another appointment in the afternoon with- I don't need to know his schedule anymore. Sam was surprised. Kate always used to ask for Mr. Scott's schedules. He couldn't remember when she had lost interest in Mr. Scott. Please pass this on to Mr. Scott. I've signed the papers. I can go to the registry for the divorce any time at his convenience. This was the first time that Kate felt relieved since she got married. During the first year of her marriage with Ronald, she had lived a dream life. In the second year of marriage, she acted like a nag, scolding and swearing with hatred at the woman who surrounded her husband. In the third year, she learned a truth that she was not supposed to know. It had been almost four years now, and she was ready to let go. Ronald Scott, the most unrestrained man in New York City. He was not a scientist but he played a decisive role in the field of science. No one had ever called him a rich brat. He had pushed his enterprise to a peak that it had never reached before. Scientist, a rich brat, CEO, any of those names were both fitting and inappropriate for him. This man was a multi-talented genius. My wife has beautiful handwriting. Divorce. Looks like it. Are you saying I was dumped? Have I not given her enough to spend? Three million every month transferred to her account on time, sir. And have I not given her enough to wear? Mrs. Scott receives the latest couture from Paris, no later than three days from its initial release. And what about her life? Have I not given her a good life then? Seven maids, one mansion, a personal chauffeur, and a position at Scott's bank. She is the head of the branch. Well then, tell me, Sam, why the divorce? Sam did not know the answer, but Ronald did. Kate was ready to leave the Scott Mansion. She did not bring much when she moved in and she would only take what belonged to her. Kate's heart no longer pounded when she saw him. Ronald stared at his wife as he got out of the car. Miss Peters, please get my jacket from the car. Thank you. Kate's eyes were one of her outstanding features. And they were the only physical attribute that had attracted Ronald. It was fair to say she was different from Ronald's rumored girlfriends. Yet, Ronald had never really cheated on Mrs. Scott, despite the numerous love rumors. Having said that, she did not show her any affection. They did not get married because of love. It was just a matter of convenience for both of them. Would he have married her if it was not for his mother? 
cut to the chase. What sort of games are you playing? You're overthinking. <laughs> I'm overthinking. You're on touring with me, are you? Reverse psychology, maybe? If suggesting a divorce embarrasses you so much, then file the papers instead. <laughs> Seriously, you really want to divorce me? I had to get Sam to hand you the divorce papers and you didn't even show up. All you have to do is sign. All I had to do? All I had to do? You're acting as if this means nothing to you, Kate. <sighs> Just come here. Ronald! Ronald! <sighs> You know, why are you being like this? It's like you're determined to get a divorce. No, let go of me. This is not right. <clears throat> this is not right. Ow! Kate, you're still Mrs. Scott. You're still my wife. I have the right to say no. What? This more reverse psychology, huh? <sighs> get <clears throat> off. <clears throat> Will Kate be able to escape her toxic marriage? Pocket FM. Install now link in description.